cutting and shaping different lures and mm -hmm. everything. Yeah, yeah. Changing hooks. Mm -hmm. I started last night just looking at the crab and I ended up doing that. Right. Yeah. Then I got carried away. See that? I've got to, got, to, got to mind that, eh? Well, you know... You fit it, you fit it in, inside and... Yeah? Yeah, yeah. And you know these stinger hooks? Mm. Oh, assist hooks. They are... The same hook as them. Yeah, they are too, eh? Yep. Can they, can they good hooks, these? Yeah. yeah, well, why don't you check this out? I'll just, I'll just rig it up first. That, that ain't bad, that. Ain't bad at all. I mean, I, I'm really excited about this because I'm sort of... For when we started fishing mm. soft plastics, it was all jig heads. Yeah. In the last four years, mm. I've slowly stopped using jig heads. I, I was thinking the other day, like I still like the heavy weighted heads Just to bang in them. the mud, but yeah. then that's where I use blades. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, we'll anyway, be... well, uh -huh. look at stage two. Oh, no. Watch out, it'll get your hook too. Oh, look at that. Yeah, now look at What do you think? I like that. I mean, flicking that into a marine and having that dropping down the side of a jetty or a, a pole. It's got to work, man. Look at that. That's just brilliant, isn't it? But it's it's, it's true natural weight, true is, natural yeah. hang time. Or and the new business is just, I'll just float down, I'll just suck it up. Yeah, but even, it, it's got three of the sharpest little deadly hooks, one backwards. Yeah. Because I found, see that hook rig there? Yeah. That's that's the stinger setup that's so successful, one either way, yeah. like, a, like an ice tube. Yeah, yeah. That, but that's... Also got that in and incorporated as well. Yeah, so you yeah, they, they, they can suck it. They can head bite it. They can. Yep. They can suck it in. They'll do anything with it. Yep. Oh yeah, I like that. And then you know I had like two curl, curl tails together on on the on, that on one. these. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's endless, up, unlimited. You could start threading rubbers up with one hook and then set the stingers off and. Oh yeah, it's got to look. Go another that. rubber. That, that, and love that. It all started with this. With that. Yeah, but works are in progress, right? I'm. What I'm doing is, I. I got that, and I thought I've got to get the line back through here. Mm. Oops, I've got to have it go through the plastic. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So, I threaded it to the drop shot hook. <coughs> this one. No, so there's line. And I ran it through the crab, and pulled it right through. Yeah. Then I tied this assist hook onto it. Okay. Oh. And these things are so sharp, just setting this twice, now just got stung two times. I mean, a, a really big fish, every, either way he shakes his head, mm. one of these is going to pin into him. And you got to remind me to get the, the magic uh, catch sand out of mm. the car. Yep. Before you go. Oh, hopefully magic. Right. Here, this is... I didn't have any intention of putting the bass pin on at all. I just wanted to, to thread it through for the rig. So there's, all of a sudden I, I whacked that bass pin on. Well, there you go. Yeah, so even just if you use that, like I mean, even have, that, like that's so, uh, yeah, they'll suck that up, like over a real shallow reef or oyster racks, I'll suck that up over way, you're, you're going to be hooked. That's so, But. It eliminates all that, then just hook, wherever yeah. they touch it's going to be hooked. And it's still <laughs> yeah. natural looking. Again, and, and you can upsize this, size it. So I started looking at the Z-Man stuff that I just got recently. I ordered a few Z-Mans in that I haven't sort of used before. Because mm. don't forget they float. Yeah. And run in tight, run out tight. It's it's pontoons. It's it's floating jetties. Yeah. It's moored boats. Mm. Run in tides, poles, poles, walls, rocks. Yeah. So you know, like places like Pier One. Pier One, yeah. Yeah. Well, Pier One's got those. Marina jetties mm -hmm. run out tide, slide okay. the rubbers off the kelp on the marina jetties. Yeah. In between them, they've got those buildings with all piers. Mm. Well, traditionally, the best way to get fish out of there is just like a just roll a golf out or like a suspending hard body. Mm. Uh, if we come in with these, I can, with the Z Man, I can bury the hook right in their body. So they're 100% weedless. Mm. Now, I got some. I'm thinking about going bigger. Same with the curl tails. I made up a heap of orange weight. No. Yeah. That and there's a there's a bigger fish. Right one. That's like little bass minnow size. Yeah. But 
There's a the glow in the dark fish. There's stuff everywhere. Probably up there. There you go. Yeah, and yeah. what's next to it? Big girls up. Yes, that's it. Look at this last night. I mean, the biggest broom I've ever seen. I've thrown a lot of lures at them in, in clear water and mm. watched them make just the big hardy heads. Nothing else. No, that Might be the right colour. That'll suck that. But out. if we're running a, a rig like this through it, these, this rubber's so soft that the brim will bite anywhere they bite. No, they'll be hooked. They'll be hooked. So you could really. And what, it's got the underbelly of the worm hook. Mm. I know this isn't set up properly, like you have to get the line. Tied right. up exact the suit, but this has got the belly hook, right? We can we can skin pin in there. Mm. See, and then we can keep going down. And I, I was going to dye these hooks red or orange. Yeah, yeah not them. So a little orange one. Look, yeah. check that out. Oh, uh, there's, you let them just float at the head, yeah. Because I'm sure broom are going to bite it at the head. I'm sure they will too. I'm sure you're probably going to get more of a kingy or something on the small end of the tail. But, yeah, but they won't give way. No. And then if you really want to entice them, mm. crab the front. Yeah. Game on. It looks like it's chasing a crab. Yeah. Look. Oh yeah, I like that. And then, and there's you, you can't even see the hook, but there he is. They bite down on that, whack straight in. I'll just rip through. Look, I'm hooked already. Really? That's it, they're good. There you go. No, anyway. that's, that's definitely, that's something there. Alright, well, 100%. okay, back to work. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's all we got to do, basically. Let's do it. This is the gear we're going to use now. Yep. Anything else we need, we'll grab to Sabo. Yep. Um, let's just sort this out, organise it, pack the boat, do our rods, get your ute down, put this on. Yep and then work out every other problem because we're going to have a few issues today no no oh make sure i've got a net i'm pretty sure there's a net in the boat i'm pretty sure i've got someone in there we shouldn't need to write a note um rod socks this afternoon yeah uh okay now that all that that's just i've just grabbed a few of everything if you reorganize it oh yeah you want to do that or something what you want to do is do some room I'll chuck you all the plastic right yeah i'll just i'll yeah i'm gonna stack them up in here yeah yeah okay and now don't worry too much about your gear today. It's probably it, it's all about efficiency. Yep. So we'll have everything in the front hatch. We'll yep. we'll get our little gulp box out. We'll get our a small amount of Z-Man to put in one bag. We'll have a hook box. Okay, now don't forget through today we got rattles. We're gonna throw yep. them in. Um, you know we're gonna try it. Yep. Our dye dips, got to make sure that we've got the, our crab scent, garlic this, scent. This is a new one of those. We've got prawn, yep. I haven't tried the shrimp out, I'm going to give it a go. Uh, we've got the sacks. The crabs, we've got to have our crab well, you, box. You've everything ready. So hey? We've got the gob, got these. Yeah, they're all new packs, so yeah, just just stack them up. Um, we'll try and leave stuff like the crabs in there, in the boxes. Yeah, yeah, I because think so. so I hate the way they melt down. I gotta try this out. But see, look at the difference here too. Um, here's, here's a crab with no dye on it. Yeah. Here's a crab with dye. It's very overpowering that garlic. So if you just you don't want it too much, it's just a little tip like that. Oh, piece, yeah. it, it gives it like most of those crabs have got the little red claw on them. Mm. So yeah. All right. I don't know. We'll have to yeah. set up all our Trebles. We just want to set up a half dozen blades with new hooks and worry about this later. We just want a little bit of everything. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to turn this off for a minute. 